I'd like to read a passage with you from the Gospel of Mark. I'm reading from the sixth chapter, about the 45th verse. And this story takes place right after Jesus multiplies the loaves and fishes and uh, feeds the 5,000. Immediately, he made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side, to Bethsaida, while he dismissed the crowd. And after saying farewell to them, he went up onto the mountain to pray. When evening came, the boat was put out to sea, and he was alone on the land. When he saw that they were straining at their oars against an adverse wind, he came towards them early in the morning, walking on the sea. He intended to pass them by, but when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Then he got into the boat with them, and the wind ceased, and they were utterly astounded. For they did not understand about the loaves, but their hearts were hardened. This passage is one that inquires of faith. It asks about the faith of the disciples, and of course it asks about our faith. Now because I am a preacher, even though I'm in my slippers, you might expect that I'm going to ask you about your faith, and it's going to be kind of like the way that the Red Queen spoke to Alice in Wonderland, that I'm going to ask you to believe six impossible things before breakfast, and that the important question in this story is, do you believe that Jesus walked on water? Do you believe that he could make the storm stop with a word? And that's not the important question of faith, not in this story, and really, not in the Bible. We distort the definition of faith when we associate it only with propositions about God or propositions about Jesus or a recitation of the unusual or miraculous things in the scripture. Things that, frankly, a lot of modern people have a difficulty in swallowing. And when we make that the condition of whether people can be persons of faith or not, we're excluding folks who really could find a deep relationship with God, but may not be able to affirm propositionally all the statements about Jesus, that he walked on water, that he multiplied loaves, that he was born of a virgin, and so forth. You see, the definition of faith in Scripture is more complex than just believing stuff about Jesus. Fundamentally, the relationship of faith is just that. It's a relationship. It's a relationship of trusting. The question that this scripture asks us is not, do you believe that Jesus could walk on the water? But do you trust Jesus when there's an adverse wind? Do you trust Jesus when the storm is blowing all around you? Do you trust that this God who has come near to us in Christ is still near with us, still bringing us hope and peace. Be persons of faith. Trust God with your life, with this day and each day. And be at peace. Amen.